Hey guys, it's Kelly, and um, I hope you guys had a great Easter. And today, I'm doing a Majorganucket video. Now, this video is going to be on both channels. And um, also, today on KC, The Bomb, which you guys be watching this video too from KC The Bomb, I'll be doing a Majorganucket video later um, with his series because he's uploading it on YouTube today. And then, you know, I'll watch it. For those of you who don't know how I do that, is I watch the videos I do in his series on the KC The Bomb, which I recommend you check out if you haven't. Um, it's I watch the video when it comes out because it comes out on Storyfire, but usually two days later it comes out on YouTube. I watch it on YouTube. You know, I write stuff down in a notebook as I watch it of what I want to talk about. And then I make the video. Yeah. And I haven't decided if this video, if I'm going to do pictures or not. You know, like of his different, for this video. So yeah, if you see pictures, that means I've decided to do them. If you haven't, I'll move over here more. So in case I do decide to do pictures, I have room. So this is um a video I, I had an idea for for a long time. I wanted to wait until I had more subscribers and more people watching. But um, yeah. Anyways, and also too, guys, if you guys want pics, um, you know, foot pics, kick me, and all you have to do to get them is get me more subs. And watch hours, preferably on KC So Random channel, but you can do both channels. If I prefer this KC So Random channel. So if you guys could do that, it'd be greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, yes, today we're having his characters, what each of his characters represents. Now you guys um, can leave in the comments what you think. So, basically, um, okay, sorry, I had it on the wrong page. Anyways, um, characters, and this is what I wrote down here, this is the date you guys can see, it is 11, 11, 17, so this is November of 2017, so it was a few months ago. Anyways, so my joke about the character, so I think, basically I think his character is representing an emotion of his, or like a part, parts of his personality. So Psycho Care, which is his most popular, I think, like, you know, came up with like, his crazy side. Or like his anger, however you want to look at it, his crazy side, anger side, destructive side even maybe, because Psycho Kid has done, done destructive things, so however you want to look at that. And his nerd character, has done like two videos as far as I know, the nerd character when he did the PlayStation unboxing and the camera. Um, it just represents his nerdy side, obviously, nothing wrong with that. Sergeant Jackson I had trouble with coming up with one, um, I would say it's his tough side, maybe, like, his tough side, his brave side, even, maybe, I don't know, how you, like I said, how you want to look at these, Isaac, obviously, the one that he's doing now, I say it's just, like, depression side, you know, that part of him is his depression, I mean, I know he said, I think, either, I believe it was a stream he said he came up with the concept for this series, the Virtual Escape series, since like 2015 or after the Psycho series, I'm not 100% sure, but either right after the Psycho series or like during the Psycho series, he came up with this idea, so I think this represents his depression side of him, the Tony, Tony Trevorell, Trevorelli was it? I think it represents like his humorous side, his funny side, because he was kind of more of a funny, silly character. The devil character from the devil inside, I I want to say represents his, like, his evil side. You know, because everyone has that side of them where, like, not necessarily evil, but, like, has their bad side. So, it represent that. So, yeah, um, if I missed any characters, let me know. And I can represent his sad side, like, side of him that's sad. Just, like... Psycho Dad is the part of hit of Jesse's dad that's, you know, the destructive side, the anger part of him, you know. So, like, that's why I think each of these characters he has done in his past represent parts of his personality. You know, or like, even, you know, personality, emotion, whatever. But, um, not whatever, and, like, you know, like, I don't care, but, like, that's how I feel. And if I miss any of any characters, because I only started watching, like, about a year, a year ago, which is crazy to me. Like, end of April, beginning, oh, no, I think beginning of April, or was it end of April? It was some, I think it was, like, end of 
March, beginning of April, I started watching them, or end of April, beginning of May, I'm not 100% sure, but, and even so, I watched a lot of his old videos, and these like, characters I've heard him mention in his old videos. I didn't watch his old series before, so I series like the game series, Rule 19, I didn't watch any of those. I think I've seen a video or two from them, but I didn't like watch them, watch them, so I don't know. Because I watched, like I said, a video or two and didn't see, I wasn't interested in it, so. But yeah, these are six um, characters I know, and I think it's interesting to think about, if you really think about it, it makes sense. Now I don't know if he intended it to be that way, but I think, I think this character represents a part of him. Like, we all have different parts of us. Like, we have our humorous side. We have our serious side. Um, you know, and... I don't know. I think Sergeant Jackson can also be... Represented as a serious side. Because he's was always kind of like a serious character. A serious character. And also, too, if you watch the Seven Sides um, series. Like, beginning when, um... Snap the Wizard first was introduced in the beginning of last year. And he was keep snapping into his different characters or acting in a devil inside when he all the characters were like in the mail and he like killed them all. But yeah, like, like I said, that's how I feel. It makes sense to me. Like I said, he might not intended it that way, but I think all his different characters represent a side of him. You know, a piece of him. It's a piece of his puzzle, you know, in a way. Like, I think what Jesse's doing with each of these series, showing him a different side of him, a different piece of the puzzle of him. And maybe after the series, we will see all of him. Because all these characters pretty much, you know, are all there, like all the different sides you can have. I mean, I'm sure there's others, but like, you know, each of these characters has been a piece of him, a piece of the puzzle. And he's the puzzle, and we're put, and we have to put together each of the pieces, or he's putting together each of the pieces for us of him, so we can kind of get a sense of him, but through these characters, you know, and I think that's some, a way we never looked at it before, and I've seen things like, in that one video he did last year, I forgot what it's called, in the, in the description said something about it all being all one big series, where well, maybe it is, maybe in a way it is, like, all these characters have to sense one big thing, which is, if all these little things, all these little characters, and all these little series to go with them represent something as a whole, which is him as a person. Represents him and him as a person and all his different personality traits and personality and parts of him. You know, they all when you all put them together, it creates Jesse. Because Jesse is the creator, which now makes sense. Um, he's a creator. Um, yeah, I probably will do pictures, so you guys can have a better idea, but anyways, he is the creator, as he mentioned in the Devil Inside series, you know, so I just kind of put it all together now, they're like, all these little series he's done with each of these characters represent something bigger, all these characters represent him, and you put them together, you get Jesse, if you understand what I'm saying. Which I think is a very cool way of tell of him telling his story. I think through these characters, he's telling his story, you know? Each of these characters represent a part of him, and you put them together, he's telling his story to each of these characters, you know? And I think that's what it is, and I think, you know, it's not just clear to me. I hope it's clear to you guys. Like, this is him. This is how he's telling us his story. Without actually just telling it, he's doing it through these characters. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope this kind of opens up more scenarios for you, more doors for you to understand this. I hope a lot of people see this because I think I just discovered something bigger. You know, this this goes beyond just him writing stories. This is his story that he's trying to tell through these these tinier stories. Anyway, so I hope you guys share this video because I want Jesse to see this. I want him to see all my other videos, but especially this one because I think, you know, in a nutshell, this is what it is. Him telling us his story through these miniature stories, you know, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm going to try and get pictures for you guys. Um, but yeah, if I missed any characters, let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes sense to you. And I hope if you guys don't watch him, he, you go back. Um, 
you go back. You go watch him. He's an amazing YouTuber. Um, I recommend maybe starting off by watching the Psycho series. Because that's his biggest series. And I think that's a series that you guys will like. Devil Inside series is a little bit more darker. And like, if you're not into the devil stuff, then I recommend watching that first. Watch like the Psycho series because that's the series that was his most popular. You know, and uh, even the My Virtual Escape series is a little darker too in a way. So like, I recommend watching something a little bit more light, lighthearted, which is Psycho series. Even before that, like Rule 2019. Um, the game has to do with like being in a video game or something like that. I think it was Rule 19, the one with the clones. Like I say, I've seen a few videos. But yeah, like, start off something lighthearted. He's done also two skits. He has so much. So yeah, I recommend go watch him. Guys, he's an amazing YouTuber. I just, I think I just connected a big puzzle. I just kind of saw the big picture here of what he's trying to do. And I love the way he's doing it, telling his story through that. Um, anyway, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to know your opinion. I love Jesse if you're watching. I love you. You're an amazing YouTuber. Man, I keep doing what you're doing. And I love how you're doing it. The style you do it in. You're so amazing. Anyways, guys. Share the video. Like it. Subscribe to both channels. Follow me on my social media. Sign my YouTube petition. Kick me for pics. And and in return, I want subs and watch hours for both channels. Too, if you could. Preferably more Casey. So random. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.